everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Bethany and today I'm going to show you guys my recent book haul some of these were pre-orders some of them were like a gift box kind of thing and then most of them were from our trip to Nashville so some of these are from our trip to Nashville. We went to the Parnassus bookstore and then we went to McKay's and I had never been to McKay's before or Parnassus and I've wanted to go to them for a very long time. So we finally got to do that. So I'm going to start with the pre-orders from Amazon and the gift book boxes. So the first pre-order I got was the Arise and Shine how to Be the Light That Ignites Hope in a Dark World by Allison Golden. And I was part of her um, advanced reader copy PR team. Um, it's a Christian based book. And it has, let me see, about 183 pages. So it's a relatively short book. And then on the back it has like her blurb and description of the book and everything like that. The next pre-order book that I honestly forgot that I pre-ordered and I honestly I don't even know if I'll I don't know if I'll read it but I might read it. I mean there's like pictures in this one but it's the visions of flesh and blood a blood and ash flesh and fire con compendium as told by miss willa by j l a so jennifer l armantrout with raven salvador and there's literally like pictures in this book and there's like it looks like there's like letters descriptions about different bloodlines there's reference pages interviews all kinds of stuff. So it's very interesting um, that she put this with her From Blood and Ash series. So that's interesting. I might read different parts of it here and there. So that's from that was a pre-order as well from Amazon. So this book I actually pre-ordered last year. But I signed up to get the... Um, sign like the autographed pre-order gifts and she sent me another book so I have the hardback book and this is the summer of songbirds by Christy Woodson Harvey and I've met her a few times and I've gotten her to sign my books and this one is signed by her as well and it did come with a little card signed by her and a gold medal bookmark sorry my we had a very long weekend my brain is very tired but this is like gonna be such a good summer read but like I said I'll I got the hardback book last year as a pre-order and this was part of I guess the pre-order gifts I'm not really sure because all I did was sign up for <coughs> the pre-order gifts okay next was part of a gift book box and it was Brenda Novak's new book called Taurus Season and in the book box, it also came with the Brenda Novak, The Seaside Library. And these are like contemporary romance books, super lighthearted. And then it came with like a bookmark with like some information on the back. It says, with the right book, the beach is just a few pages away. Some other little cards. It came with like a, a door hanger. That says, Hotel Mariners, Shh, I'm reading a Brenda Novak book. That's so cute. And then it also came with this Brian Keith artwork that's signed by him. 
and it also came with a keychain and that is on a set of our house keys right now and then it all so I didn't bring it up here and then it came with some nail polish some cookies which we already ate the cookies the nail polish I can see over there um, it came with like a sun hat and there's a few other things I posted a reel over on my reading and relaxing bookstagram Instagram so if you want to see all of the extra goodies that came in that box be sure to go check out that video over there and I'll link that down below so these are the two books that came in there and I'm really excited um, this one about about 400 pages like 380 and this one's about the same these are gonna be really good beach reads along with that Christy Woodson Harvey book this was also part of a different um, gift box and this is the secret book of Flora Lee by Patty Callahan Henry and I love her books she's such a good author and it's this book, most of her books are historical fiction novels, and so I'm really excited to read this one. She came out with this, and I believe it was last year, 2023. Let me see if it says, and it is also signed by her, and I love paperback books, honestly, more than I like hardback books. This one, oh, the first paperback edition was published this year, so... That's pretty cool. As a description of the book on the back, I'm not gonna go into it a whole lot, but it is based in London and it is historical fiction. And I love historical fiction. I just love reading. Okay, the next book is gonna be from our book buying spree in Nashville. The first one is from Parnassus Books. And so, I have a cute little Parnassus bag, and I, Kaysen didn't get anything at this bookshop, which is perfectly fine. He got some books at the other one. I got another historical fiction, The Personal Librarian by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. I'm excited to read this one also, and it came, they gave me a cute little postcard of the owner's dog. So he is super cute. And then two bookmarks. And this one I can color, which is so fun. And it has their social media on there, which I will link below. But this one is a historical fiction book. And it just looked so interesting to me. I'll read the back of it. It says, in her 20s, Bella DaCosta Green is hired by J.P. Morgan to curate a collection of rare manuscripts, books, and artwork for his newly built Pierpont Morgan Library. Bell becomes a fixture in New York City society and one of the most powerful people in the art and book world known for her impeccable taste and shrewd negotiating for critical works as she helps create a world-class collection, but Belle has a secret one must protect at all costs. She was born not Belle de Costa Green, but Belle Mariner Greener. She is the daughter of Richard Greener, the first black graduate of Harvard and a well-known advocate for equality. Belle's complexion isn't dark because of her alleged Portuguese heritage that lets her pass as white. Her complexion is dark because she is black. The personal librarian tells the story of an extraordinary woman famous for her intellect, style, and wit and shares the links she must go for the protection of her family and her legacy to preserve her carefully crafted white identity in, a ra in the racist world in which she lives. So, I heard it's really good. So, that's from Parnassus and I also got a cute little sticker has Parnassus on the side and I love teacups and I love books so cute little sticker and then I got some thank you cards I like to have thank you cards on hand just for you know saying thanks for birthday gifts or Christmas gifts or anything like that so they're super cute I'm going to take one out so I can show you and they remind me of my grandmother because of the cute little frogs they're blank on the inside so I got a few of those And 
And then I got a couple of Mother's Day cards for mine and Kaysen's mom for Mother's Day. That is all we got at Parnassus. So next, we went to McKay's and it's a used bookstore, but it also has like electronics, old records, CDs, DVDs, um, collectibles, toys, like all kinds of stuff. So it was very overwhelming. I mean, there's an elevator in the one that we went to in Nashville, but Kaysen was determined. He's like, I'm also going to get a book. So he doesn't not read as much as I do, but he definitely reads a lot faster than me. So I will start with what he got. So he got Richard Castle's Deadly Heat, which yes, Richard Castle is not the real author. Like he is a fictional character from the show Castle. Um, but we have the first three and this is the fourth or fifth fifth one and we don't have the last three this is called deadly heat so we love that show so he wanted it it was a dollar 75 it was a dollar 75 um originally I don't know. Hold on. I'm trying to peel this off. Originally, it was not $1.75. So, we got it. Pretty good deal. He was like, it's $1.75. Let's get it. I was like, all right. Um, there was like another sticker on here. Anyway. Okay. The next book he got, he likes hardback books a lot more than I do. He got the Greg Hurwitz Out of the Dark, the Orphan X novel. And it's a hardback book. It was $3.50, and it's a mystery novel. Let's see what it says. It says, Evan Smoke is on a target with the most impossible mission yet. Taken from a group home at age 12, Evan Smoke was raised and trained as part of the government's orphan program and off-the-books assassin operation. Evan was Orphan X. Using everything he learned, he broke with the program and disappeared reinventing himself as a man who helps the truly desperate but now evan's past is catching up to him someone at the very highest level of government has been trying to eliminate every trace of the orphan program by killing the remaining orphans and their trainers after evan's mentor and the only father he has ever he ever knew was killed it was time to strike back his target is a man who started the program and who is now the most heavily guarded person in the world the president of the united states but the president but president bennett knows that orphan x is after him and using weapons of his own he's decided to counterattack. bennett activates the one man who has the skills and experience to track down and take out Orphan X, the first recruit of the program Orphan A, with Evan devoting all his skills, resources, and intelligence to find a way through the layers of security that surround the president, suddenly he has to protect himself against the deadliest of opponents. It's Orphan versus Orphan with the future of the country and the world on the line. That's definitely up his alley. So the next one is John Grisham, the judges list. And this one was six dollars then and then he also has the greg herwitz orphan and it was four dollars and i think that they're a series i think one of them is book one and one of them is book four so he needs to find the other ones and that one this one was four dollars so pretty good deals on those hardback books Okay, now I will start with mine, and I will start with my hardback books, um, and this is just because, like, I still like hardback books. I just prefer paperback, so some of these are relatively newer, so the prices aren't as good as, like, his, his or older series that he got. This one is Ready or Not, so this one came out pretty recently. In the last few years, 2024 is when 
somebody got this in the book of the month box and I paid $14 for it. It's originally not $14. I'm not sure because this is the book of the month cover. So it doesn't say like how much this book is, but I can't imagine this being any less than like $28 for a hardback book. And it is very pretty. I love the cover, very springy. And it looks like it's like a contemporary romance or rom-com. I think it's more of like a rom-com. So ready or not, that was 14. And I love Catherine Stedman. Catherine Stedman books are so good and twisty. She writes psychological thrillers and this is her newer one. One of her newer ones. This one came out in 2022 and it's called The Family Games and I haven't read, read it yet. I haven't read the last few that she's written because I haven't been in like a big psychological thriller mood but I feel like it's time and they I read them so quickly and so the cover is really pretty also and it's called The Family Games. This one's by Katherine Stedman. That one was $13. Then the next one is The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. And this one was only $10. This one also came out relatively recently. Um, the original price was $28.99. And I got it for $10. So that is pretty awesome. It's also a mystery thriller book. I heard it was pretty good. And I love the cover. They're just so pretty. And bonus, it's a gorgeous, like mustard yellow color with the jack, the book jacket off of it. Okay, the last hard book back book I got is called The Paper Palace, and this came out a few years ago. It was part of the Reese's Book Club. Let's see when it was. It was originally twenty seven dollars. I got it for nine. It's also got such a pretty cover and the book without the book jacket is a gorgeous blue color. This book came out in 2017, uh, wait. 2021. And it says, the how this house, this pal place knows all my secrets. Before anyone else is awake, on a perfect August morning, L. Bishop heads out for a swim in the freshwater pond below, the Paper Palace. The gently decaying set of cabins in the backwoods of Cape Cod, where her family has spent every summer for generations. As she passes the house, L. glances through the screen porch at the uncleared table, from the dinner the previous evening, empty wine glasses, candle wax on the tablecloth, echoes of laughter of, fam of family and friends. Then she dives beneath the surface of the pond and recalls what else happened last night. The secret passionate encounter with her childhood soulmate out behind the house as Elle's husband and mother chatted to the guests inside. So begins a story that unfolds over 24 hours and across 50 years as decades of family legacy love lies secrets an unspeakable incident from her childhood lead l to the precipice of life's changing decision over the course of the day l will have to decide between the world she has made with her much-loved husband peter and the life she'd always imagined would be hers with her childhood love Jonas. If a tragic event had not forever changed the course of their lives, spellbinding and surprising, the paper palace brilliantly eliminates the tension between desire and safety, the legacy of tragedy, and the crimes of, and misdemeanors of families. And it's written by Miranda Cowley Hel Heller. That is it for my hardback books. So now the paperback. So these are, I don't remember what they call these. Are these like the, like library? I don't know. Uh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. I'll think about it. I'll think about what it, these are called. They're like super tiny. Um, mass production anyway this is the proposal it was 475 also part of reese's book club it's contemporary romance 
There's another sticker on the back. Originally, this book was $7.99, and I got it for $4.75. I'm just taking all the stickers off as I go. And it's so cute. It's in really good condition, too. Um, it's written by Jasmine Gilroy. The proposal. The next one is, there are three different books all in the same series, and they're also the mass production books. Um, this is, they're all by Lexi Blake, and this one's called Buy You Baby, and it has a cute little German Shepherd on the front. This one was $3.75. This is Buy You Dreaming, and it has a black lab on the front. And then this one is Buy You Beloved, and it has a, I don't know, it looks like a Great Pyrenees, but it could also be something else. Another little puppy. This one's $3.95. So $2.50, $3.95, and $3.75. And I don't know how many books are in this series or if you need to read them in a specific order. I didn't look it up. I just saw them. I read the gist of what they're about. And they're contemporary romances as well next i have with love from london by sarah geo i think is how you say her name i'm sorry if i mispronounced that and this book was 750 this is a general fiction book and the cover is really pretty too and it's with love from london it says, when Valentina Baker was only 11 years old, her mother Eloise unexpectedly fled to her native London, leaving Val and her father on their own in California. Now a librarian in her 30s, fresh out of a failed marriage and still at odds with her mother's abandonment, Val feels disenchanted with her life. In a bittersweet twist of fate, she receives word that Eloise has died, leaving Val the deed to her mother's Primrose Hill apartment in the book garden. In the storied bookshop she opened almost two decades prior. Though the news is devastating, Val jumps at the chance for a new beginning and jets across the Atlantic, hoping to learn who her mother truly was while mourning the relationship they never had. As Val begins to piece together Eloise's life in the UK, she finds herself falling in love with the pa pastel-colored third-floor flat in the cozy treasure-filled bookshop, soon realizing that her mother's life was much more complicated than she ever imagined. When Val stumbles across a series of intriguing notes left in a beloved old novel, she sets out to locate the book's mysterious former owner. Though her efforts are challenged from the start as in the book Garden's Future, in order to save the store from financial ruin and preserve her mother's legacy, she must rally its eccentric staff and journey deep into her mother's secrets. With Love from London is a story about healing and loss, revealing the emotional relations, relatable truths about love, family, and forgiveness. And this book was originally $17 and I got it for $7.50. And it's general fiction. It sounds really good. That sticker came off very easy. Okay, the next one is The Lost Apothecary, and I've heard very good things about this, and I got it for $5, and it's very pretty. It says, a forgotten history, a secret network of women, a legacy of poison and revenge. Welcome to The Lost Apothecary. In 18th century London, women, apparently there's a theme. London, London. I think another one of these was in, based in London. <laughs> apparently there's a theme um apparently i'm ready to go to london in 18th century london women whisper of hidden apothecary shops and its mysterious owner nella who sells well-disguised poisons to uh, use against the oppressive men in their lives nella's dark world is no place for her newest patron a pre precocious 12 year old named eliza fanning but their unexpected bond sparks a string of consequences that echoes through the centuries. 200 years later, aspiring historian Caroline Parswell is running from her own demons when she discovers a clue to London's long unsolved ap apothecary murders. Caroline's appended present 
soon collides with an explosive history binding her fate to Nella's and Eliza's in the stunning twist that transcends the barrier of time. Five dollars. It was originally $17.99. Oh, that is so fun. It's like a little map. And it came out in 2021. Um, the this edition was published in 2022. So pretty cool. Five bucks. I mean, you just can't beat that. All right. I still have more to go. I told y'all it was a pretty big haul. So this is a trilogy, I believe. And it's the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And I've never read this. I tried to watch the show, but honestly, I didn't understand a single thing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to read the books. But I haven't bought them yet because honestly, I've been reading so many other things and listening to them on audiobook. And I didn't really want to pay full price. So I saw all of these at McKay's. The first one, Shadow and Bone. It's a fantasy, young adult fantasy. It's ten. It was ten dollars, and they're in really good condition. So this is bent because of me. I bent that, and it's the, I guess Grishaverse by Lee Bardugo, and it's there's three books, and so I got Sage, Sage the Storm, and this one was nine fifty. So ten dollars nine fifty, and then ruin and ruin and rising is nine fifty as well. So I'm hoping that these are good. And it's literally I spent. Okay, so this paperback book was ten ninety nine, so I saved like a dollar fifty. Um, let me see what this other one. I think they're all probably like that, $10.99. So I just saved a dollar on one and a dollar fifty on two of them. Still though. Why not? Okay, the next one is Agatha Christie, and then there were none. And this one was $10.50. I've never read read any of her books, but I love the movies that they've made about her books. This says Agatha Christie is the most widely published author of all time, outsold only by the Bible and Shakespeare. Her books have sold more than a billion copies in English and other in another billion in a hundred foreign languages. She died in 1976. How have I not ever read? I mean, maybe for high school, I might have had to read her books in high school, but I feel like I could read this in one day. So, and then there were none. Agatha Christie. And then the Christie Affair. I got that. That one was $9.50. Originally $15.99. This is the Christie Affair. It was $5 by Nina de Garmont. And this says, in 1925, Miss Non Odea infiltrated the wealthy rare feed. Rare feed? rarefied world of author Agatha Christie and her husband Archie. In every way she became a, became a part of their life. First both Christie's, then just Archie. Soon Non became Archie's mistress, luring him away from the, his devoted wife, desperate to marry him. Non's plot didn't begin the day she met Archie and Agatha. It began decades before in Ireland when Non was a young girl. She and the man she loved were star-crossed couple were a star-crossed couple who were destined to be together until the great war a pandemic and a shameful and shameful secrets tore them apart then acts of unspeakable cruelty kept them separated what drives someone to murder what will someone do in the name of love what kind of crime can someone never forgive nina de garment's brilliant unforgettable novel explores these questions and more and it was originally $17.99, and I got it for 5 and it's in, like, perfect condition. So, and it was part of the Reese's Book Club. This one was published in... Tw 
2022. So, pretty good book. Next is Colleen Hoover's Layla. And this is a contemporary romance as well. It was originally $14.95. I got it for $10.50. It says, when Leeds meets Layla, he's convinced he'll spend the rest of his life with her until an unexpected attack leaves Layla fighting for her life. After weeks in the hospital, Layla recovers physically, but the emotional and mental scarring has altered the women the woman Leeds fell in love with. In order to put their relationship back on track, Leeds whisked Layla away to the bed and breakfast where they first met. Once they arrive, Layla's behavior takes a bizarre turn, and that's just one of the many inexplic inexplicable occurrences. Feeling distant from Layla, Leeds soon finds solstice in Willow, another guest at the bed and breakfast with whom he forms a connection through their shared concerns, and his curiosity for Willow grows. His decision to help her find answers puts him in a direct conflict with Layla's well-being. Leeds soon realizes he has to make a choice because he can't help both of them. But if he makes the wrong choice, it could be detrimental for all of them. Well, it says love can haunt or heal. So this book, what did I say? I got that one for $9.50. And it came out in... And everybody loves Colleen Hoover. I might have read one or two of her books. This one came out in 2020. I have two more left. The next one is James Patterson and Emily Raymond. And it was $5.50. It's called The Girl in the Castle. It was originally $18.99 and I got it for $5.50. It says, my name is Hannah. My life is in danger, but no one believes me. Doctors bring Hannah Doe, screaming for her life, to the Bellman Psych and tell her that she is suffering from hallucinations and delusions. They isolate, sedate, and silence her, and they don't listen to a single word, she says. Her mind is another place and time where she she's desperate to protect her family, her friends, and those around her. If she fails, she and everyone she loves will end up dead. In the trademark style that has made him the acclaimed number one best-selling author in the world, James Patterson and his award-winning co-writer Emily Raymond delivered an unputdownable tour de force that will have readers questioning everything as they race through twists and turns to a thrilling ending. Like I said, it was originally $18.99. I got it for $5.50. This book came out in 2024 is what it says. So pretty cool thriller, mystery thriller. One more left. This is called Normal People by Sally Rooney. And people absolutely love or absolutely hate this book. It's a general fiction book. I got it for $10. It was originally $17. Normal People. It came out in... 2019 says uh is it connell colonel connell connell and marianne grew up in the same small town but the similarities end there at school connell is popular and well liked while marianne is a loner but when the two strike up a conversation awkward but electrifying something life-changing begins normal people is a story of mutual fascination friendship and love it takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but can't but find that they can't so that was my last book and then the last thing that we got from McKay's was a Keith Urban record. This is his number one volume, number ones, volume two. And it was $21.95. So good old Keith Urban. So that was my most recent book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love reading. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks lately. I'll probably do like a book review video soon because I've listened to a lot of books. Um, and then I'll keep you updated on all of my reading with all my new books and all of the other books that I have on my 
shelves that I haven't read yet. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like or thumbs up this video. Comment your favorite book if you like to read. Comment your favorite way to read. Do you like to listen to audiobooks, physical book, hardback, softback book, Kindle, um, on your iPad? Just let me know down below in your favorite book. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.